Okay, we're back here with our KV24FS100. I've removed the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there was three here on the video in panel and one big bolt here. I also moved the power cable out from underneath here and just let it hang there. So let's have a look at it when we get the top off, if we can. Oh goodness. There it goes. I think I'm on the wrong side of it. This board, I'm sure it has a name. It's not too dirty. I mean, there's a little dust, but... Couple of speakers on the sides. Now I'm wondering if a guy can get to that front input panel all the way down there by simply removing this board. It would be great if I didn't have to worry about taking the tube out. Neighbors are sawing wood. I think if I get this board out and have a look at things. But next I'm going to hit it with the air compressor or uh, shop vac, suck out some dust, blow out some dust, and have a look again after. Okay. After blowing out some of the dust and reading the service manual and having a good look at things, if you simply try and pull up on the board, it's locked into place. But I, I figured that if you were to release that little tab there, you press it downward towards the, the, towards the bottom of the TV, it kind of releases it. So if you take this and press down, it allows the board to come out. There. Now I can actually pull the board further out and pass that lock. Now I have a lot of wiring to disconnect as I go here. So maybe I'll just try and describe what I'm doing as I'm doing it so that I can go back to it later. I suppose I should have started with... should have started with discharging that. Maybe I'll do that last. I think I'm going to start by taking this one out. It's got one, two, three, four, at least five gray and one white. See if that just pulls right out. I think I'm going to come back and try and discharge this here. I think this ground I think this is the grounding wire I need right here. Running there, there, here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. See if we don't get electrocuted. So what I did find, and it may or may not work, but I'm gonna try it, is this old power tester. It's just got this clip for ground and then it has a little light that lights up when there's power going through it. So maybe I'll just try this. Clip this on somewhere here. Of course it's tight and I can't get under it. Get the camera for a second. There. So I've clipped onto that. 
I'm wearing some type of glove that's definitely not made for electricity. And I'm wearing flip-flops, which, I mean, they could be rubber. I don't know, but I'm just going to jab under here for a while and see what happens. A little bit scared. I feel the metal. I'm not too worried now. Sorry, I'm trying to watch what I'm doing, not necessarily the camera. Ma. There. All right. I think that's probably good enough. Let's see if we can't pinch and remove this thing. Challenging. That connector on the left side of the board appears that it's going to both speakers. So I'm going to pull that out next. That connector on the left side of the board appears that it's going to both speakers. So I'm going to pull that out next. It wasn't cooperating down there, so it's coming out of the top instead. White wire towards the top. Next, I need to get rid of whatever these blue, yellow, red cables are, and they go here. Something to grab on here. I don't know. Put the camera down. Okay, so I was finally able to get the board most of the way out. I've turned it around so that I can have a look at the area of the buttons. Those are all the front panel buttons. Uh, this is where the LED indicator is, headphone jack, other menu buttons for the inside of that flap. And this is maybe where the IR receiver is, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Um, here, let me turn it, uh, maybe not. Looking on the back. Um. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Stuff. A lot of soldering points. So it looks like... <clears throat> LED area here. Between these white clips. Um, not seeing anything totally wonky there. This area here looks a little bit yellowed, doesn't it? Isn't there a little yellowing here, maybe? Or the... I mean, I think that's where the remote sensor in that general vicinity, the IR sensor is. And then all of these down here for the front switches. I, mean, I don't know. Does something... does it look bad here? I turn the board a little bit more. Sorry, the light sucks on this side. Huh. Where's my flashlight? That thing looks blown, don't it? I mean, I don't know. It doesn't look like the others. Um, the one labeled 8004 or B004. That kind of looks fried to me. If that's a, a resistor of some sort, I'm totally guessing. I, it, it seems fried. What about that one up there too? Or does that just denote the the specification of it? Because that one's kind of black on the bottom too. Like that one. 8004 or B004. 
that one says 8003 or D003 I don't know those look kind of fried but maybe that's the way they're supposed to look I don't know Maybe, I don't know. I'm... The base of that is a little black. Huh. Man, I really don't know what I'm looking at. I wonder if it's a marker. Somebody had put marker here and that just trailed back to that. Maybe it's just marker. I don't know. What do you guys think?